What's going on everybody? I want to show you something that many people don't realize they can do on Ford IDS is the live network monitor. Um, this is a 2010 F-150 and we have a problem as you see with our HVAC module. I, uh, this is a new module. I can't even configure it because I couldn't talk to it. But uh, communication comes and goes and you can see this is not where you're supposed to use the ground. For those of you who know what I'm talking about. Always use the battery, but I was down and dirty to get what I wanted. I have the blue connector disconnected. The blue connector on this is this connector for all these other uh, functions. I think this goes to, oh, let me see if I can scroll this up. Oh boy. The blue connector goes to these uh, temperature actuators and just to kind of uh, eliminate a few things to make it easier for myself, I want to make sure we had communication with this plugged in and we did. I did use my little scope to make sure we had CAN uh, data on the network, medium speed and we did. But what's cool about this Ford IDS uh, tool, this function is really nice. There's an audio uh, button you can hit. So as it, if we miss a message, it will ding for us. And all I'm doing, I'm going to try and zoom out so you guys can see. All I'm going to do is touch this power wire right here. And uh, watch not act up. It only pings the modules every so often. I can adjust the time of how often it uh, pings, and it's almost how much, how long it stays on a module, I believe. We're at 200 milliseconds, so that's a longer time. Let's go ahead and make this down to 40 milliseconds and hit the check mark. And it'll be binging, it should be uh, pinging them faster. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull on this little wire here. As I pull on it, I can hear things coming on and off. Um, there you go. So it says it missed four messages. Oh, five messages. So every time it goes through that module, um, it will ping if it's got a missed message. Right now there's not an active problem as you see. I'm trying to show you guys how I'm just gonna I think we got a bad terminal fit here. A loose terminal. I can actually feel doing a drag test on the wire itself because I do have the connector housing off. Oh there it goes it missed. I do have the connector housing clip off. Always make sure you be aware of your orientation or else you'll probably fry a module because you can plug it in any way you want. But as you see, we're missing messages and it's counting up. If I go ahead and put some tension on this sideways, a little bit of pressure on that power wire sideways, problem solved. So I'm gonna take that apart, see if we can find out what's happening there. Okay, let me see if this will zoom in, but this terminal is a little cattywampus. Maybe we'll see that. I'm going to try to uh, bend it back or see if we can get another one. And doing a drag test on this. I have a, a test terminal here. Just focus camera. Um, we'll see if this is the right size or not. So as luck would have it, of course, my camera stopped recording at that point. I thought I was recording, but it wasn't. It turned out we had a couple of terminals that were loose. Uh, one of them was spread extremely bad. The power terminal, that uh, green, uh, red, or white and, white and red, uh, it was spread pretty bad. I'm pretty sure somebody jammed the test light in there as they are testing it, and that caused all kinds of issues. So, guys, be careful when you're testing like this. And as you see here, we, uh, we did get it uh, fixed up, programmed, and the problem didn't happen anymore. Okay, so we've got the module all configured, terminal tightened up, 
And at this point, we didn't have any communication problems any longer. The module is staying online because I had its power all the time. So I hope this video helps you understand some of the functions in the IDS. That's like a more, little more advanced function, pretty easy to do. It's a great feature of the tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them below. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching.